Today we're in Psalm 145 through 147. And there's a note beside Psalm 145 in my Bible, in my handwriting, that says, read this every day to keep a right perspective. So there's something here from my past that was important, and I want you to help me find it. Verse 1 says, I will extol you, my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Extol is the word exalt in other Bible translations, and it's a verb indicating a high activity level. It means to rise or to raise. So the psalmist is working hard with great intention to elevate the object of his desire, his God and his king. The phrase forever and ever is repeated for emphasis. The writer is acknowledging that in contemplating the greatness and the majesty of God, time ceases to exist. God is beyond our limitations. Then verse 8 says, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works. Grace means we get what we don't deserve, right standing before a holy God and eternal life in His presence. Compassion means He's merciful to you and I. We don't get what we do deserve, thanks to Jesus. And because we are the recipients of His grace and His mercy, we recognize that He alone is good and that His works are always carried out with tenderness and mercy. So why did I write, read this every day to keep a right perspective in my Bible? Well, because it reminds me of who God is and that I belong to Him. It reminds me who God is and that I'm His. In closing, listen to what Paul said in Romans 12 too. He said, don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world. But let God transform you into a new person by changing the way that you think. Then you will learn his will for you, which is good, pleasing, and perfect. Read God's word today. Why? Because it will give you a right perspective on life. Mm-hmm.